Margaret Brennan joins me now on CBS4 and CBSDenver.com. And Margaret, let's first talk about these new economic numbers out. American economy is growing at the fastest pace since 2014. The president may deserve some credit and, and took credit today, right? He did indeed. The president took a victory lap uh, at the White House today in the wake of these uh, economic growth numbers that, as you point out, uh, show a positive upswing in the economy that the White House credits uh, towards uh, their policies, saying that some of the tax policies, the overhaul that was put in place earlier in the year and deregulating some industries has helped them gain this momentum. But what they're really hoping is that it'll also gain them some goodwill. In fact, enough sort of political wiggle room to continue uh, with their trade policies. Remember, it was just earlier this week that the White House announced it's putting together a $12 billion package to help uh, farmers in America who've been hurt by the president's trade disputes uh, because of these retaliatory tariffs on some agricultural products. Uh, and so the, the president's hoping that he can continue to take that risk uh, and have this economic headwind at, at his back so that the two will sort of uh, add up and even out. We're going to talk to Larry Kudlow, the economic uh, director at the White House, about this on Sunday. All right, the other thing we wanted to ask you about is Michael Cohen, the president's personal attorney and former fixer, says the president knew ahead of time about the controversial Trump Tower meeting with the Russian. Why is that significant? Well, we know that Michael Cohen has uh, told those around him that he is willing to tell that information and testify to that uh, to the special counsel regarding that probe. It's unclear, though, why he's making that public. If he were trying to cooperate with law enforcement, he could privately be cutting a deal to do that. Uh, of course, the questions that swirl around Michael Cohen, the president's longtime attorney and so-called fixer, are about what other kind of recordings does he have, what other information does he have, given how close he was uh, to Donald Trump as a private citizen uh, for so long and touched so many sensitive issues uh, regarding, you know, allegations of affairs, et cetera. So on this particular case of that Trump Tower um, meeting with a Russian attorney who was offering damaging information about Hillary Clinton, the president has said that he didn't know about that meeting ahead of time. And both his son and son-in-law have said that uh, there was no communication with the president about it at that time. So this would contradict that testimony, sworn testimony on behalf of the family members uh, if it does turn out to be the case. All right. And finally, who's on Face the Nation this week? Well, we'll talk about those legal problems with Rudy Giuliani, who is the current attorney for President Trump, who is on the attack uh, against uh, Michael Cohen and these allegations that he is making. We'll also look at the broader economic picture here and the trade policies of the president with Senator Jean Shaheen. She's a Democrat from New Hampshire who's very concerned about American small businesses. And Senator Ron Johnson, a Republican from Wisconsin, who is equally as concerned about how hard hit American American farmers are lots also to talk about in terms of uh, foreign policy with Russia and North Korea. Both of those two senators are going to talk to us about that. All right. Sounds like a good lineup as always. Thank you.